Some 10 million adults have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD, but experts say the true number could be far higher. In recent years, there's been an increased recognition of adult ADHD and the benefits of seeking help. It's a big challenge. A lot of awareness, I think, has been um, increasing probably since the start of the pandemic. Right now, about one in 25 adults has ADHD. I think a lot of people think of ADHD the, uh, in children, like hyperactive, impulsive, disruptive, and it looks different in adults. Psychiatrist Dr. Thor Bergerson says the warning signs for adults can include procrastination, lack of concentration, having problems staying organized, trouble following directions, and issues with finishing your work on time. The signs and symptoms are there and they can be hidden by things like depression and anxiety because having these symptoms is frustrating. Uh, so a lot of people get discouraged and frustrated. ADHD can also cause problems at work and with relationships. It affects men and women and appears to run in some families. Some adults are diagnosed after their children receive a diagnosis. Bergerson says there are many ways to decrease symptoms. He recommends getting six hours or more of sleep. Exercising, especially in the morning, will help you focus. Also, eating regularly throughout the day, drinking less caffeine, and getting the right medication. There's a lot of misinformation about medicines like Ritalin and Adderall, and there's lots of different forms of those, but they're very safe and effective. And if you sus suspect you may have ADHD, various online screening tests are available. We've linked to one with this story. Just go to the health page on clickondetroit.com. Sharing the results of that screening with your doctor is a good first step toward getting help.